Good morning, this is The Buzz UG and uh, my name is Melad Milo aka Fula. Now, presidential advisor Jennifer Fulfiga during an interview on NBS TV yesterday scolded those who are promoting the Mohozi project and those proposing that President Museveni should return in the 2026 general elections. Full figure says this is not the right time for that to happen, but those in leadership should rather try to understand why Ugandans are not happy about this government and why they are losing love for their own country. You understand? I want to make a midway see how we got Uganda. Chovola and Tiavana Banji back to come of Wanga, your fee. Never again, or Okugeza, or Tabagana to Wakagala. Singaba de Buff Sobokuanga for name him, Tabagana Wakagala. Never again, the Rokuan to one Nature Koraba and Kawanga. Maybe never be there, never for no summers of Kuba Jamung and Sigovanga Vichi, never to Sasuanga, Vana Bakadama, something the Mutavakadama. Nayate sectors is our way. Kuanga Vana Baina. By in a ministry, by, by in a sectors, we bagua companies, but what are the way solo? Never about you are solo. Now you love and Taban to Tava food day of one inch of the company, the Korea teens, the Wempia, Nebaka, and Nakwana Mauli, Mukwa Mauli, and TV Masengaji, one of our Biako Billionzi. Now you know what about here, fire, Kuraba, Rachiba Bidua, Eraba Dizota Sendeza, every minute with the cab and talk with well, Kiriza over Ghana, full figure these days is speaking in tongues. I have a feeling something is not right in her camp. And uh, don't be shocked when she's back to the opposition. <laughs> but anyway, that's the latest update coming in from full figure's camp. Now, some people have been asking why His Excellency Bobby Wine hasn't posted about Eddie Kenzo's festival that's happening this Saturday. And actually, Eddie Kenzo was yesterday in an interview on NBS After 5 and he was questioned by MC Cuts about this same. Now, Eddie Kenzo, in his response to MC Cuts, he said he can live without Bobby Wine. And actually, the festival can even be successful without Bobby Wine posting about it. So there is no offense. Whether he posts or not, the festival will go on and it will be successful, hopefully. Kenzo is busy. What is your baby? Are you busy? You can't live without them. You can always live. Yeah, so what are you talking about? It comes from the bottom of their heart. You know what I mean? Principal <laughs> I just never never did come here and ngamba ne principal internet ya tari na kizunga katadeo katwit ne ngamba internet tari na na katavira watu mutagi ngabu tagins. Now Eddie Kenzo in the same interview reiterated that he's not a politician and uh, he's happy that most of the fellow youth right now in Uganda are no longer into politics. In other words, everyone is right now working for their own well-being. Muri mwa watu no aba 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 believing like that. But luck enough, majority of the youth are exposed. Mm. They know that politics is politics and we are not politicians. They know that we have to live. We need people. Mm. No matter whatever Nengiriji ba believing them, whatever party or what color you support or what color, we need people. Kubanga, ba politician ya watu waula, ba beriring, ba watu demontebe zawe, ba enyu esi, mo esi. At a fit, we remote a gas. You know, Kujena to Guzaka commander, a voice again. So for two battery none for color gun, and every tray is at a baling of a tessa or almost ever be doing. But I'm happy that uh, a lot of youth, a vocal of a single bar, and I'm going to have a singer. But Katiba Zook, Nagamba, Goma, and you are getting a new wagida, Tom Bolidavio, or in a movie. 
sina chikomando cha regulo tonyumiza bintu byo byakala ndeze sina chikomando bado gambo ti ngamukola business ngamugena maso rema omisa kuchibulu invite you fine ah honestly speaking sa kumogera ko kubanga mkazi mufumbo nya kumara kusaba mwa mirukusa ndi mane saba ku invite ngaka tumeka teacher ali omo that's a family you have to to wena kwenda kwa tesim okubire mwa mihamu zo mugambe musobola kujja ko kuchibulu changa management nyakumala kujebuza ko ngeri jikubanga we bas indicas invitation mm. yes yeah, so baba omanyo ba ya tuse ya tuse there you go that is the update coming from Eddie Kenzo's camp Eddie Kenzo festival is happening this saturday at Kololo in Pendas grounds uh, no matter the differences let's go and uh, celebrate this brother when he's still alive <laughs> Now Bruno K has narrated how he nearly lost his daughter recently. He says he went to some doctor and unfortunately this doctor made the wrong prescription and uh, gave Briella overdose which wasn't her condition. Now I want us to read this short narration together. Yesterday I almost lost my child because someone prescribed the wrong dosage. She was vomiting a lot so to control the vomiting they gave her 10 ml of plasil which is meant for an adult my daughter started shaking continuously and having serious hallucinations the next thing she stopped walking i rushed her to another expert and that is where i was told that my daughter was given an overdose of plasil my child is recovering well but i shared this information so that parents can learn from it Well there you go that is uh, Bruno K and uh, we wish his daughter Briella a very quick recovery That's the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG and as always my name is Melads Milo aka Fula don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications it's a bye for now thank you <laughs>